Lance Corporal Dennis, a few feet away from me, about the distance you are, stood on an improvised explosive device that we had been unable to detect. That device killed him instantly and sent his body above tree height and it landed about 40 metres away, less his three limbs. The blast punctured both of my eardrums. Shrapnel from that blast smashed into the back of my skull, through my cerebellum and pushed its way through my head. The shrapnel was, was millimetres away from the spinal cord, but at the time would never have envisaged what we've had to live with since. Um, I imagined it was all going to be physical balance and walking and all sorts of things, but actually we've had a different set of challenges to, um, to overcome emotionally. Added to that, the impact of that blast on my head pushed my brain and reverberated it and shook it around the confines of my skull. I was found in a bush, cradling my head in a fetal position with a radio antenna embedded in the back of my skull. How I think of it is I've got my old brain and my new brain. My old brain was the one that evolved for the first 38 years of my life. It was me. My new brain, that was the one that was given to me when I was blown up. I mean, in an instant, I became a different person. And it is quite difficult with the children because um, Olivia, ha Olivia very much sees a different daddy to the one that went away. Annabelle will of course grow up only knowing Stuart as he is now. Um, but Olivia, it's difficult for her because Stuart's changed hugely. I still have the same motiv intrinsic motivation, desires, aspirations even, to do the best I can within my ability. After my injury, I became emotionally vulnerable, fragile, insecure, unsure of my ability, unsure of myself, and I lost confidence and I lost my self-esteem. And as a result of that, started to entertain negative thoughts, and this led to depression. Now, depression is exhausting. So how did I come overcome it? by changing my mindset. It took time, but I changed my mindset. I became more mindful of the present and not of the potential future or the past. In practical terms, I took up art, I took up painting, and that for me is mindfulness in action. To succeed as a leader, you need to make people believe in you. You need to make them feel that they matter, to make them feel valued. And you do that using the bedrock and the foundation of trust, of compassion, and of moral courage. I've been through many emotions and therapy techniques over these last five years. And what I've learned from that is kindness, support, encouragement, compassion. To oneself first, and then to others, will help you grow as an individual and a person. The quality of your thinking determines the quality of your life. By realising that I could not afford the luxury of entertaining those negative thoughts, not ignoring them, not trying to turn the negative into a positive, positive in that simple, cliched way, but by acknowledging a negative thought, by then accepting that negativity, and then parking it.